guys reached our people in the Arbor Wilds? I made sure of it. Too many strange plants there. We don't need stomach cramps sweeping the army. Did you find what you need, Morrigan? I can match the Darkspawn Magister's dragon. Yes. As for matching Corypheus, that is up to you, Inquisitor. Believe me, I know. Then all that remains is to find Corypheus before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Roads? We could send word to Orsamar, a higher envoys too. It seems Corypheus is not content to wait. He's in the Valley of Secret Ashes. You either close the breach once more, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. I must go now before it's too late. Where is your maker now? Call him. Call down his wrath upon me. You cannot, for he does not exist. I am Corypheus. I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger. Bow before your new god and be spared. Never! As successful in foiling my plans, but let us not forget what you are. A thief in the wrong place, at the wrong time, an interloper, a gnat. We shall prove here, once and for all, which of us is worthy of God. Dragon, how clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will.
at you, a safarati nipping at the heels of your betters. You are nothing. All you love will be ground under the Imperium's heel. Let the skies boil! Let the world be rent asunder! Walls of the Golden City, cross the ages. Dumat, ancient ones, I beseech you. 
If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now! <laughs> Solus, the orb. I know you wanted the orb saved. I'm so sorry. It is not your fault. There's more, isn't there? It was not supposed to happen this way. No matter what comes, I want you to know you shall always have my respect. Inquisitor, are you alive? Victorious, I see. What a novel result. And you survive. Thank the Maker. And it seems the breach... is finally closed. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold. A moment, my lord. 
My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. It's odd that he would just leave without a word. You said he was upset about the orb. I can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting's over. Why do they want to meet me now? You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Empress Selene owes you her life and her throne. A thousand problems remain, and your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. As the saying goes, to the victor go the spoils. They see more than victory. Previously, you were an upstart. Nothing more than a leader of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? Corypheus is definitely gone. I was there. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks. Pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference, and that we will continue to do so. That's why we're having this fancy party. Celebrate, Commander. You've earned it. I should be thanking you. You gave me a chance to... to prove myself. In your place, I'm not sure I would have done the same. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. I'm thinking, this shit is weird. The Inquisitor Trevelyan story. What do you think? It's a working title. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Well, nothing certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. You should write the book. I'll see what I can do once I get home. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. That was the Tevinterest Vint in the history of all Vints. The original mold from which subsequent Vints were cast. And I got to help kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. There's no one I would have rather had at my side, Bull. Same here. I got to kill another dragon and fight a Vint. Those poor bastards on the ground had demons. It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrat and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. Got anywhere in mind? If it's all the same with you, I'm pretty good right here. Anyway, the only place I'm going tonight is back for more drinks. To us, being alive, 
and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. They're all happy. There's still fear. But you helped them all. You healed what was hurt. They don't want to forget what happened, even if it gives them nightmares. It would hurt less, but it matters to them. The fear reminds people of what they fought for. It gives the victory significance. It's part of being people. I know. I don't understand, but they need it. I, I think I could return to the Fade if I tried. I'm light enough to slip through, but I'd like to stay and help for a while, if that's all right. I can still help people here. For tonight, we remind the world and each other that we're alive. Yes, because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andras Day's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for, you know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. Couldn't it be his will and our effort? Perhaps miracles need a little help. Well, what's the friggin' point of them then? Ugh, you sound like a sister. I guess you'd know by this point. Seems like you did it right, mostly. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Royale. that's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Or whatever? This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry, I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning. Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. Just wait. The notoriety won't last long. You, they'll remember. Me, one day I'll be that piece of minutia they used to trip up aspiring historians. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. Will you be returning to Devinter now? No, actually. I was thinking of sticking around for a while. You will. Devinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. Ugh, oh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. If you don't pause for a moment, your heart is going to stop. At least I'd be spared another incident. What a disaster. So many was late, the invitation to our guests barely went out at all, and... and... It was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Tedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. 
We deserve each and every compliment. Yes, I rather think we do. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. I must remember to thank her for the trouble. <laughs> She's been craving the cakes from Madame Lucien's shop for months. This celebration gave her the perfect excuse. To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry, build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. What's important is that you're here with me. There was a moment after the orb exploded. I thought for certain you were dead. I prayed, don't take him from me, not after all we've been through. And then I saw you through the smoke. Sometimes the Maker is kind. I have news from the sequester. I believe the Chantry intends to name me Divine very soon. If that happens, I have decided to accept. I wanted you to know. It hasn't happened yet. That's true. We still have time. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand, the Chosen of Andraste, proven in the eyes of all Thedas, and you are the man I love. How did that happen, I wonder? Know that I will always stand with you. So much to do, my dear. Elections for Grand Enchanter must be held, and many of the Circles lack even interim First Enchanters. It will take time, and it may not be possible to restore the history that was lost, but we will reinstate the circles. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. As a matter of fact, I am. This is all for you, darling. Enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Go mingle. The night is still young. A moment before you go. There's something else I wanted to say. Oh, lead on. What's this about? Everything is about to change. I could be named Divine any day now. You will be pulled in a hundred different directions. Cassandra. No, it's fine. I simply wanted to steal a moment while I still can. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed.
Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. Where once war raged, there is now a shaky peace. Orle is resurgent, the Empress a patron of arts and culture. Many attribute this recovery to her lady love, though others wonder how long their reunion will truly last. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Her subjects approve of the Alliance, even if some claim it is the only reason she yet clings to power. Those Grey Wardens who survived the Battle at Adamant ventured north into exile. They returned to the mighty fortress of Weishaupt, and word slowly spreads that a battle for control of the Order has erupted. If Hawk reaches Weishaupt with them, he is unknown. Indeed, before long, all news out of Weishaupt ends. Slowly, the Wardens withdraw from across the north as well. Some believe the ancient order is on the verge of vanishing forever. One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Cassandra as successor to the Sunburst throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she immediately enacts reform, a new Templar order, and a new circle of Magi. The Seekers of Truth are rededicated to their purpose of protecting the innocent, a proclamation of support for the Inquisition is issued, recognizing its service to all of Thedas. Despite her popularity, the new Divine's reforms are seen by some as going too far. A new sect arises, demanding a return to the status quo on threat of war. With the Inquisitor's assistance, negotiations end peacefully, and few concessions are made. Strength and unity within the Chantry are restored in the months following, a golden age, if it can last. Those Templars of the Inquisition who were recruited at Theron Fall Redoubt are left with a choice. Many follow in the footsteps of Commander Cullen, going through the slow and agonizing process of Lyrium withdrawal. This frees many to join the Seekers of Truth under the Divine, a renewed order dedicated to justice for all. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its military might has grown, now rivaling that of kingdoms. Fear of the Inquisition's army has become the true source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Dread Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well. Oh, 